Hello and welcome back to our KSP build episode. We are building the Moon Lander. And I have added some more of my patrons and actually a new YouTube member, Stian Kerman. Hi, Stian. So I have renamed some of my old time Kerbals. And the mission for today will be Explore the Moon Crude. So you have already seen the video and uh, that was the previous episode. And as you can see, I'm putting Stian and Terry which I'm giving the SpaceX suits and then we will be assembling this bad boy. So stick around, this is gonna be fun. Now, increasing the data capacity, shielding, oh, this is ugly. I'm gonna keep the original one. Right, so what we want to be dunking now is some batteries, some science experiments and a materials bay, which is kind of important that we get to the moon prior so we return some moon samples and all that jazz. So I'm just trying to figure out how I'm gonna orient all of the experiments, how I'm gonna dunk them in and make sure that they can survive the re-entry. So I'm gonna go with the traditional approach, this guy with a big heat shield at the bottom. All right, so let's cram in some science experiments and see what we can come up with. I'm putting all the usual suspects, you know, gravioli, uh, the thermometer, the barometer, and all that, Geiger counter, whatnot. I'm cramming pretty much everything that I can get my hands on, including the two mystery goo containment units. I'm gonna also be putting some, you know, solar panels, some decouplers. Let's put in the decoupler, that one. Yes, thank you. And then, so as always, guys, you know, we are, have to construct things backwards. So first, this is what is returning to Kerbin. So all the experiments, crew capsule and everything. Then we are designing the lander that will be going from the moon back to Kerbin. So that's the idea. So moon lander Mark II, EU version. I am deliberately moving away from the, you know, Soyuz like basically I'm trying to avoid any Russian looking equipment. Sorry for that, but until, you know, everything in the world settles down and the peace once upon reigns upon the whole, globe i'm gonna be avoiding as much as i can of course the russian looking components there we go uh i actually need this come on variant this okay this is much better nope that's too short thank you perfect so yeah i'm gonna keep this looks and then i'm gonna be changing the bottom part so i need a rocket which would be this guy there we go and i have the engine where's that cheetah yeah i'm gonna take the cheetah thank you perfect so that being said i can put this so this was actually the stage that will get us to moon and landed on the moon so now we have to construct the stage that will get us into orbit Okay, changing everything that it's white. Okay, this. Okay, this looks good. It has to look beautiful. I mean, otherwise, why the hell are we doing it? Maybe I'll just put the down bottom one with the stripes. Oh, that just looks but ugly. All right, approved. There we go. So now let's put some decouplers because I want to be using these, uh, yeah, I want to be using the side boosters for that. So I'm just gonna be aligning them here, two of them. Is that enough? I'm actually not that sure. Maybe I should use four. Hmm. I'm just auto strutting everything. We'll see how much Delta V we get. 6.4, uh, maybe. It's gonna be a tight squeeze. Let's first add the rest what we need. So now we need a fairing. I'm just trying to see if I have some sort of fairing that I could close up. See, something like this. Looks beautiful. All right, there we go. I could have put just the landing legs slightly lower, but I didn't notice it. So yeah, bear with me. All right, so that being said, now let's put the uh let's put the fins fins are okay the boosters well don't they don't have too much oom they are at 0 1.5 let's put four okay 1.9 that's better 
and the delta V has increased a little bit, which is actually nice. So I'm going to thrust limit them by a little, and that should uh, do a little bit better fuel economy. It should burn longer, which should also give us a little bit extra delta V. We don't need everything we have to actually fighting the air. There we go. That looks good enough to me. All right, so the craft looks okay, which means we need to do a little bit more testing. Let's test it out. I usually test all of my craft, and those of you who have watched episode, you already know that this craft is working correctly. However, I design, I make a build episode because I'm posting the build episode after the you know fly episode. The point of this is to actually see the design changes and do some adaptations if needed. So once we launch that, and typically I I uh, am satisfied if it goes to orbit and all the systems deploy as, ex as expected, then I can say, okay, looks good, we run with it. And as you can see, this rocket is really, you know, stable, going perfectly, no big issues. And we'll see if we manage to circularize and deploy everything, then we call it a success, right? Okay, so uh, yeah, my stages are a little bit fumbled. We're gonna deploy the fairing. All right. Pointing the craft prograde. And the burn is coming in 20 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and let's burn. So this sh stage in theory should have enough to get us circular into the orbit. And just by a little bit margin, depends on how efficient will be our ascent. There we go. 650 meters per second to burn. Beautiful. Stian and Terry, they're running this simulation, of course, because it is simulation, you can see in the top left corner, it says sim costs. Yeah. Beautiful. And there we go, we are orbital. With 3,184 meters per second to go. Deploying the landing legs. All right, deploying the fairing, retracting the landing legs, extending the antenna, then we'll be extending the solar panels, uh, solar panels, uh, wait, do we have solar panels? Oh, well, I guess that simulation uh, makes it correct, however, we don't have the solar panels, we have everything else. So, by the way guys, if you're liking this episode, which means we need a little bit more electricity. So, smash that like button, it tells you the algorithm that you like what you're seeing, and it tells me that I'm doing good stuff. Now, Mystery Goo, we're gonna move you guys a little bit back. RPWS, well, we're gonna move you, we don't need you anyway. Antenna, we're gonna move here. These we will move on this and this side, the containers. There we go. And then we need solar panels. I'm going to be placing, okay, two solar panels, 3.2. How do they look? Or they're going to be hitting the capsule, won't they? Okay, let's put the, the thinner ones. And we're going to make two of them. All right, I think that looks better. The thermometer we're gonna move here there we go the experiments oh oh boy move there you go gravioli you're back thank you i think everything looks pretty dandy we have to make custom groups so antennas solar panels whatnot there we go beautiful all right i actually think that is good enough. Oh, let's put small gyros. Yes, we will need some more small gyros. 
which I think will conclude our craft. Oh, shoot, we have forgotten something important, guys. Well, we don't have enough uh, oxygen and stuff, so we put actually supplies, food and everything, and then we need an oxygen tank, because we need to check how long will, will they have stew, food and everything. Storage consumed, 18 days for the food, okay. How much for the water? 100 days. Oxygen, 5 days. Okay, oxygen might be a little bit critical, so we need to add some oxygen. Alright, I think that's actually better. Perfect. Just making sure that all the parts... I'm gonna double up on that food supply so that we are... Yeah, 27 days and everything. That 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 goes marvels. Alright. Good. I'm gonna queue it up. And while we're here, we're gonna do another pass at ordering new component. So, I'm thinking... I have 291 research and we eventually want to go a little bit more towards, you know, the crewed flights, which means we need to increase our storage technology. Life support things, yes, we will order them. I mean, they're not the most popular, but we have to get them anyway. Hydroponics, it's 160. Shall I get that one or... Adjustable base cradles, these are for actually making bases. That's nice. Efficient air engines and precision propulsion. Oh, I need the Super Dracos and Twitch fuel engines. Yeah, these guys I need more. Sorry, I'll be taking those first. All right. So, you've seen how me design, you've seen us queue up some more research. So I think, guys, I think with the Kerbal construction time, we should just warp to that and then we will be launching this bad boy. So. I guys hope you liked it today's episode. If you did, be sure to boop the like button and I hope that you guys will enjoy this playthrough so that you come back to it. So once again, thank you very much for watching. Like if you like the episode and I will be seeing you in the next one.